White Sands Missile Range has designed and performed air defense missile tests for almost 50 years. These tests require a great deal of preparation and are very expensive. Then, when the missile hits the target, much of the investment comes crashing to the ground. The aerial cable range is a unique new asset at White Sands, which promises to dramatically change such testing. Using targets affixed to the range's three-mile-long cable, experimenters will be able to collect more accurate data at a lower cost. In addition, tests can be accurately and easily repeated, something which is difficult using free-flying jets or helicopters. The new test range is on the north end of White Sands and opened for business in early 1994. One end of the two and one half inch Kevlar cable is anchored in the Oscuro Mountains. The other end is attached to a take-up winch and reel in the Little Burrow Mountains. This setup allows the cable to be raised and lowered as needed. Normally, at its highest, the cable is 1,000 feet above the valley floor, midway between the two mountains. Kevlar is used because steel cannot support its own weight over such a distance. Also, the non-metallic material does not influence electronic testing. In simple terms, the cable serves as an aerial path or track for almost any kind of vehicle a tester might want to hang on it. Speed can easily be controlled by using gravity or rockets to accelerate the vehicles. The present capability is a payload of 10,000 pounds at speeds up to 250 knots. A future goal is to accelerate 20,000 pound test objects to speeds of 250 knots. The vehicles can be inexpensive aircraft mock-ups or stripped fuselages, which can be repaired after impacts and reused. They can also be launch platforms for live firings or drop platforms for dispensing some munitions and bombs or electronic platforms for simulating aerial threats or testing sensors and warning devices. Planners also foresee the cable being used in planetary lander tests and aircraft design experiments. Missile range officials feel they have only scratched the surface on all the possible uses for the cable. Cameras and other instrumentation placed on the surrounding mountains, on the valley floor, and inside the vehicle easily capture every aspect of the tests. In 1989, White Sands was asked to act as executive agency in providing an aerial cable to the Department of Defense. Construction began in December of 1992 and was complete and operating a year and a half later, almost two years ahead of schedule. The reason for the rapid completion was the partnering effort between the various government agencies and contractors involved. All members of the team were committed to open communications and cooperation in an atmosphere of trust. In addition to the cable and anchor points, the facility includes a control bunker. This protected building is the facility's nerve center. Test controllers manage cable targets and all tracking instrumentation using a highly computerized control system inside the shelter. A service deck is in the winch area on Little Burrow Peak. It is used for target and trolley assembly and the calibrating and static testing of equipment. Also, there is an explosive storage area nearby and a large building with an overhead crane for vehicle repair, fabrication, and buildup. Shortly after completion, the Aerial Cable's first customer came on board in July 1994. By the end of September, after dozens of tests, it became apparent the new facility would provide considerable cost savings for government testers. As an example, the missile attack warning system was tested at the Aerial Cable range. The cost of the program was $700,000. A conservative estimate for the money saved by avoiding the use of conventional droned aircraft for these tests is close to $14 million. By using the aerial cable, numerous other users were able to share space on the mock-up and expose their sensors to realistic threats during the same tests. Unlike an actual aircraft, attaching additional items to the mock-up does not affect its airworthiness. Another advantage to the cable which was demonstrated in July and August 1994 was the ability to quickly turn the target around 
and ready it to go within 30 minutes for the next test. With this capability, it is possible to perform many hot firings each day. Depending on the complexity, a test can cost as little as $10,000 for a single missile firing at the aerial cable range. In today's atmosphere of shrinking budgets and limited assets, this new $30 million miniature test range makes a great deal of sense. The Department of Defense Aerial Cable Range provides a low-cost, quick turnaround alternative to conventional testing for the tri-service community and others. In fact, as a result of cost avoidance, this DOD facility will pay for itself by the end of fiscal year 1995. It provides testing at a fraction of the cost of conventional testing, in some cases as low as $10,000 per test. Since the target or platform is attached to the cable, data is inherently more precise. Less test support instrumentation is required due to the confined test area. As little as 30 minutes may be required for turnaround of the target or platform. All services have equal access. Test costs can be easily shared by multiple users. The range has the capability of running up to 300 tests every year. The aerial cable range is available now for use by Army, Navy, and Air Force projects, as well as defense contractors, foreign governments, research laboratories, universities, and businesses. For more information, contact the following White Sands office.